short video about vinegar. This is some um, cider that didn't quite make it. Uh, that's to say, last year, last autumn, I made a lot of cider as I usually do. I didn't make as much cider last year as I usually do. Anyway, some of it uh, got a bit of vinegary. You know, the problem with cider is uh, if you get uh, a particular bacterium and um, oxygen into it, then it may turn to vinegar. And uh, you get this stuff, which uh, I'm going to pick up some of it. It's what they call vinegar mother. Do you see that? What about that, eh? It's a good bit of what they call vinegar mother. It's some glutinous sort of um, stuff. Almost like you can almost feel as though you could, um, you know, sew it together. Anyway. Oh, wow, I wish you could smell that. Anyway, this is um, some cider that wasn't going all that well. I have more cider than I needed. Some of the cider wasn't that great. So what do I do? I chunked it in here and left it. Now what I'm going to do, that's clear actually. It's July now. Uh, this smells of vinegar. It's a process whereby the alcohol is converted um, according to bacterial action. Well, enzyme action that's uh, introduced by bacteria. The um, the alcohol is converted to, as to say, the ethanol is converted to acetic acid. There's an intermediate byproduct called acetone. I can smell the acetone here. Now, what this process needs is time, warmth, and oxygen. What I'm doing here is quite simply oxygenating it. Now this is what you don't want to do if you're trying to keep the cider clean. Anyway, lots of people have suggested the benefits of cider vinegar. We have a friend uh, who is very keen on cider vinegar and it's, it's a great product. I mean, we don't use it for health. I don't, I'm not persuaded that it has any health benefits. I won't deny that it does, but I'm not persuaded that health, cider vinegar has any health benefits. However, it's very nice on salads. It's much, much nicer than malt vinegar. And um, so we trade our friend cider vinegar for eggs. So he keeps some, he and his wife keeps some, um, uh, our friends I should say, her and her husband if you like. But our friends keep some, um, they keep bees and they keep hens and uh, they trade us their products to our products. And, uh, anyway, this, uh, this is sort of halfway from cider to vinegar. And I'm just giving it a good stir. Another way of doing this will be to transfer it into uh, five gallon kegs and um, let it sprinkle from one to the other. The more oxygen you get into it, the better. Now, you should never make vinegar and cider on the same premises because you absolutely must not allow the bacterium that uh, converts alcohol into acetic acid, you mustn't let that get into uh, your cider. Keep your cider clean. I'm not going to give a lot of lectures on cider making. I make a little bit of cider. There's a number of you know, very, very good websites, particularly I think it's called cider.com, Andrew Lee, L-E-A, Andrew Lee, he is a uh, former professional, uh, academic, researcher, cider maker, he's a really nice guy, and he uh, has a cider portal, if you look up Andrew Lee Cider, or cider.com, you'll find it, and uh, there's absolutely no point in me saying anything at all about making cider, because Andrew Lee has already said it better than me. Anyway, that's just giving that a good rousing, good stirring, and that will uh, accelerate the process by which this is mm, turning to vinegar. It's two thirds of the way there. Uh, that should really help it getting some good load of oxygen into there. That should do the trick. But we don't make cider in this shed. This is my. Well, this is my man's shed, it's a bit untidy, 
Uh, you can tell if you look around that I'm an angler. And that's my cider rack. And I'm a bit of an untidy stone, so. Okay, cider.